this is a last point of the unit number two of automobile engineering point number 2.6 and this topic is regarding axles automobile axles so you can see here in picture where is the location of axles so what are the content that we will learn here in this lecture let us see we will see here significance of live and dead axle function and requirement of front axle types of stub axle construction and working of semi floating and fully floating rear axles so let us see one by one starting with the definition of axle an axle is a central shaft for rotating wheel of the gear so it is nothing but a central shaft for rotating wheel of the gear on wheeled vehicles the axle may be fixed to the wheels rotating with the with them or or fixed to the vehicle with the wheels rotating around the axle so there are two options the axle may be fixed to the wheels rotating with them this is the first option rotating with them and second option fixed to the vehicle with the wheels rotating around the axle bearings or bushings are pivot provided at the mounting points where the axle is supported let us see what are the types of axle first type is rear axle second type is front axle and third one is a stub axle rear axle are of three types floating full full, full floating rear axle semi floating rear axle three quarter floating rear axle front axles are of two types dead front axle line front axle stub axles are of four types iliate reverse iliate lamoin and reverse lamoin so this way these are the this is the classification of the axles front axles let us see about this front wheels of the vehicle are mounted on front axles front axle supports the weight of uh, weight of front part of the vehicle front axle facilitates steering front axle absorbs shocks which are transmitted due to road surface irregularities front axle absorbs tar applied on it due to braking of the vehicle so this is the information regarding the front axle this is a sketch or a picture of the front axle this is another sketch of the front axle you will see here the main axle front axle this is the front axle and uh, you will see here there is a knuckle support on both the sides here also and here so left and right hand side so front axle is usually made of steel trough forging high point 4 percent carbon steel or 1 to 3 percent nickel steel it is made of i section that's why here here i cross section is mentioned in the center portion which while the ends are made either circular or elliptical so ends are made here and here circular or elliptical so this is nothing but the material used for manufacturing the front axles what are the types of front axle usually there are two main types of the front axle one is called live front axle and second one is called dead front axle let us see the meaning of this and uh, what is the difference dead axle dead axle has no connection with the engine means it is a dead and will not carry the engine power while live axle is a axle which contains differential mechanism through which the engine power flows towards the front wheel so here that's why it is called live axle the engine power flows towards the front wheel front wheel and it in case of dead axle it will not carry the engine power dead axle has sufficient rigidity and strength to transmit the weight of the vehicle from the springs to the front wheel in case of live axle in addition to transmit the weight live has to supply engine power so both the functions are performed by the live axle to transmit the weight as well as to supply the engine power generally front axle is dead in front engine rear wheel drive or rear engine rear wheel drive we 
we have seen the vehicle layout in that there is a front engine rear wheel drive and rear engine rear wheel drive generally front axle is dead in this case in case of live axle what is there generally generally rear axle is live axle in front of in front engine rear wheel drive or rear engine rear wheel drive so these are the different points of differentiations between the dead axle and the live axle let us see about live axle live axle is also called as a line axle this is a picture of a live axle or line axle you can have an idea how is the structure and what are the different components linked with the live axle and this is a sketch of the dead axle you will see this is nothing but a dead axle rear axle next point what is rear axle rear wheels of the vehicle are mounted on the rear axle as this name suggests what are the forces that acts on the rear axle let us see what are these forces weight of the body driving thrust torque reaction side thrust these are the forces which acts on the rear axle there are different types of the rear axle number one type is semi floating axle so here you will see in this picture this is a semi floating axle with a semi floating axle the axle shaft both carries weight and transmit torque the wheel is often bolted directly to the flange on the axle semi float axles are seen on cars and light duty trucks so the applications of semi floating floating axles are cars and light duty trucks semi floats are mount are more limited in capacity but lighter and cheaper to manufacture so this is a sketch of a semi floating axle next is next type of rear axle is full floating axle the weight of the axle is supported by axle housing more specifically the bearing spindle is attached to the axle housing and set of bearing is separate in a separate wheel hub so this is a structure of a full floating axle the torque is transmitted by separate axle shaft that carries no weight so here the torque is not uh, torque is transmitted by separate axle shaft that carries no weight a commonly built four floaters are considerably heavier but also much stronger so this uh, these axles are much stronger in shape so this is a sketch of full floating type of axle next type is three quarter floating axle this type of axle is a combination of full and semi floating bearing in this bearing is located locating between the axle casing and the hub axle shaft do not have to withstand any shearing or bending action due to the weight of the vehicle which are taken up by the axle casing through the hub bearing however it has to take the end loads and driving torque a three quarter floating axle is the same as a semi floating with one difference the outer bearing is moved to the outside of the outer end of the axle tube and supporting hub assembly via bearing's outer circumference edge so this is a sketch of a three quarter floating axle next is what is meant by stub axle stub axles are connected to the front axle by king pins so these are connected to the front axle by the king pins front wheels are mounted on stub axles front wheels are mounted on the stub axle are meant for steering stub axle what is the purpose of stub stub axle it is providing steering stub axle turns on king pins king pin is fitted in front axle beam i and is located and locked there by a top taper quarter pin stub axle are of four types iliac reverse iliac lamoin and reverse lamoin stub axle that we have seen in the last uh, last uh, slide so these are the shapes number 1 is for the iliac type then this is a reverse iliac type then this is a lamoin type and this is a reverse lamoin type so these sketches are important you can you can draw these sketches because it will ask in the examination to identify which are the types of stub axles so this way we can have the information about the axle and we have finished here in unit number 2 these are some of the references you can uh, take the link. we can take the reference of these links for more studies thank you very much